whole experience with with the present, the film, the present, and everything that has happened in this past year, is actually more a reconfirmation of something I've always believed, as cheesy as it sounds, anything is possible. Anything is possible. And that's, if I, if I want to sort of sum it up, that is what I feel this past year has done. I set out w w with a plan, yes, I'm, 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 I'm making a film that I hope will resonate, I hope will reach audiences far and wide, uh, but did I sit there and say, oh, it's going to end up on Netflix worldwide, oh, I'm going to be nominated for an Oscar, oh, I'm going to win a BAFTA, no. But I, I did aim for, for, for making the best film I thought I could in that moment. And I wanted that film to achieve, in many ways, unimaginable heights, right? In that sense. And, and so this has been a, a great confirmation that really anything is possible. Um, and, and, and you push for it and you work for it. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, the universe also conspires with you. And, and you know, so that's, that's for me, yeah. Yeah. To acknowledge, I mean, you know, we, we, we're guilty of it as women, generally, you know, um, am I worthy, you know, and this, this, you know, am I worthy, um, do, do I deserve this, um, and, and, I can also also say that about creatives in the industry. So not necessarily even just women. It could in the industry I'm in, I realized that even the most seasoned of of creatives, and so even the most seasoned of successful businesswomen uh, as well, suffer from it. Um, I think for various reasons, but maybe it's not such a terrible thing. It's just being okay with that. So you, you you know accepting that that's there, and and of course not 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 feeling you must feel worthy yes, but being okay with questioning sometimes because that's healthy as well. You know you can't just think I'm the best. This is the best because there's no room for growth with that. Yeah, exactly. And and I think that growth is everything. I mean, literally as as human beings, female or male, irrelevant. It, growth is everything and women just don't necessarily have the same opportunities or they don't give themselves the the um, um, permission to grow as much as men you see what I mean in that sense mm -hmm, absolutely I think women have to give themselves the permission to say I am worthy of that growth and I should pursue that growth regardless of what it is I'm pursuing in my life with a career not a career whatever it is but to grow just as a plant grows you know throughout its life we need to grow yes we get older with time but is our is our mind expanding and growing and and even our spiritual growth and our our uh, emotional intelligence growth and you know so in that sense growth I think is key and and ultimately um, I love to, to sort of I know that I love to learn and I love to expand in that sense and I would I would advise everybody whether it's something you're pursuing career wise or not you, you know I, I feel that um, uh, I feel that sometimes, look, I can't speak to the women in my circles because generally they are women who want to grow and are growing and work on themselves. Um, but but I do feel that, that, that a lot of women do remain stagnant. And maybe it's not a choice. They, they, they are, you know, they, they, either they would like to, but they don't know how or that they uh, feel tied to whatever it is that holds them back from growing. And, and I'd like to encourage that. I would say that, you know, you've got to put fears aside. You also have to pursue things for yourself as well, um, despite whatever your commitments are um, business-wise or you're not in a business. I, I mean, I, you know, I'm assuming the people on this call are in, in the world of business. Mm -hmm. So 
even in the world of business, you can focus on your business and you can grow in that angle, but you also have to grow in other ways as well. And they will all come to serve you. They will all come to serve you. It can't just be growth in one direction, um, on, on one subject matter, if you like, or just your work. You have to grow as a human being um, and, and in your maturity of those things as well. And it will serve you in your work. It certainly will as well. Um, and so that's what I try to do. You know, when I, when I realize that I have my weaknesses, it's very important to kind of address them and say, okay, what can I, what can I do to fix this, improve this, grow this? And, uh, and also saying, okay, I have an interest in how the brain works. And I give you one other thing that I also, you know, concluded is that sometimes when you set your eye on something that you would like to do, mm -hmm. uh, yes, if you'd like to seek advice and, and you know certain individuals, and but I think that the tunnel vision attitude is 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 very useful in the sense that you avoid the sort of naysayers. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need people to bring you down in your moment of courage. You know, your moment of daring mighty things, do not give way for, don't talk about it with everybody. Don't, it's, it's, it's not necessarily in your interest. And I know I certainly did this, by the way, when I decided to become a filmmaker, I didn't tell people about it. I just started to do it. And, um, and it, 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 it keeps away that negative energy. It keeps away even people who don't intend it badly. Some of them are even there to protect you or they feel that they are there to protect you. But you know, it, 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 that negativity is not something helpful when you are taking the leap in something. As long as you have chosen that you have the conviction and the desire to do what it is you're now setting out to do, I think sometimes putting those blinders on and just going for it and saying, look, I don't have time for the naysayers. I don't have time for that. You got some good advice, great. But otherwise I'm, you know, at least in the initial stages, you don't need to advertise to the world what it is you're up to. I truly believe we need more female, female energy, leaders in the world and we would end up in a much better world mm -hmm. and uh and 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 i think that the female leaders we have seen in the last few years um have 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 set very powerful uh, examples of how we can deal with uh the problems in the world and i think that we've also as we see more and more female entrepreneurs um, and their successful businesses come into the fore. Um, I'm excited. I think that we're coming, we're coming into that new era, that new zeitgeist where the patriarchy of the centuries, the you know millennium that has passed. Um, and and I, so I'm excited at, at what women can can bring to our world and just elevate um, the, the, the global social conscience and, and